Red Feather from Grepax. In this technology video, we will be showing you how to do an Ubuntu screen recording and how to record as long as you would like or need to. This feature was added into version 18 and above of Ubuntu. And the instructions I'm showing you are from the Ubuntu help section, but take note, they are limited and only describe how to start and stop the recording, or rather the screencast, if you will. And to my surprise, there were no added control features for this screencast or record within the settings options of Ubuntu, at least for versions 18 and 19, and at the time of making this video. So, if you're utilizing Ubuntu 18 or above, give it a try. If everything is functioning properly, after pressing the hotkeys, CTRL, Alt, Shift, and R, you should see a red dot in the upper right hand corner of your screen, indicating you are recording. Notice we have decided to record 0 AD. You can either let the video record for its 30 second record time, that is the default, or by using the same hotkeys, CTRL, Shift R, end the recording. Once the 30 second video is done recording or you end it, it will automatically be saved to your video folder as a screencast video. The screencast recording settings are set in seconds. For the most part, as you can now see displayed on the screen, 30 for 30 seconds, 600 seconds for 10 minutes, 1800 seconds for 30 minutes, and zero for unlimited, the maximum setting. Now, you could address this through terminal, but it has been suggested to use the deconfig editor that can be downloaded through the Ubuntu Software Center. Once this is downloaded and installed, give it a click. Once the editor opens, notice the warning. This is here for a reason. So proceed at your own risk. According to the Ubuntu documentation, this is a tool to use for this procedure. If you have chosen to proceed, click the I'll be careful button to close the message. Then maximize the screen, if not already. If you do not maximize the screen, you might not be able to see the apply button when needed. Then click on org. When the org menu appears, scroll down to gnome and click. When the gnome menu appears, scroll down to settings, daemon, and click. When this menu appears, scroll down to plugins and click. When this menu appears, scroll down to media keys and click. When this menu appears, scroll down to max screencast length and click. Once the settings window opens, we should refresh our memory on the seconds to minutes time frame. But before we can adjust these settings, we must prepare the editor. 
in the editor window where it says use default value, shut this off. Then just below that where it says custom value, place the value you would like for the necessary time frame. Once this value or time frame, if you will, is set, click apply in the lower right hand corner of the editor, close the editor, then using the Ubuntu hotkeys CTRL shift R once again and record away. I hope you have enjoyed this Ubuntu technology tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one. Thank you in advance. I am out.